G'day guys, Fish in Australia here today. I'm back. So unfortunately, pretty quiet weekend for me on the fish. Didn't really get out and do anything. Um, so pretty well much this tackle talk is going to be all for this week. But I do have a couple of very big plans coming up. So I've said there's a little bit of it on the Fish in Australia Instagram account, which if you haven't followed, go over and have a look. But um, yeah, this is going to be it for the channel this week. So um. Grab a beer, crack one open, and we'll get right into it. So, the topic for today is going to be how I fish my hard body lures. You know, everything from what reels I'm using, what um, leader, um, and then going over how I fish my hard body lures. Um, obviously, I do my own fishing lures, so there's going to be a little bit about them, but it's not literally all going to be um my lures it's just going to be pretty much your sizes um what colors i like um how i fish them so yeah anyway to start off we'll go in with just talking reels so for trout fishing i like i'm a real big enthusiast for light line like if you're fishing off a lake all day like actually casting you know if you're using a 2000 500 or 3000 that reel is going to get very heavy over time um, especially whipping out lures all day in wind on a big lake or something like that um, I've had this Stratic CI4 1000 for like um, probably a couple of years now it has not failed me um, they well they're completely phased out now the new Stratics are coming out which are pretty sick the Fisherman's Shed are a place to go if you want to have a look at pre-order on one of them but um, the Stratics like they're a known um, runner reels they're really good I know they're a little bit pricey um, but like if you're fishing every weekend a Stratic is definitely a worthwhile purchase you'll get a lot more cast distance they run off your spool a lot nicer they wind a lot nicer um, yeah so I'd have a look at getting a 1000 like it doesn't have to be a Stratic like even just like a Sedona or something like that like one of your entry level um, spinning reels you know, Sedona's are about, I don't know what the new ones are, but like 150 bucks. Um, and they're going to give you much more cast distance. It's nice controlled drag, and they're going to still be pretty lightweight for you to flick around all day. Um, Braid, I've always sort of just stuck to light, but recently I've got a little bit heavier. Like, I love running four pound braid because it gives you that really long cast distance. But honestly, nowadays, if you're using four to eight pound braid, like... It's been made so thin that like it doesn't really affect your cast distance that much. So anything from four pound upwards, like four to sort of your eight marks, perfect for trout fishing in like 99% of your occasions. And we'll go into leader and then we're into the lures. Um, I've recently been using six pound Black Magic Supple Fluorocarbon, um, wicked new fluoro. Um, that's just recently come out. Um, so, like, it's super stretchy. It's just exactly what you'd want in a leader. So, but as long as, like, leader pound wise, four to, four to eight really is what I run. Like, I'll run eight at, like, Crescent or something like that. Some of your big lakes. But um, in your rivers and stuff like that, you'll get away with four pound. Six pound's just a nice medium that it's not too heavy to wag your like weight your lures down but it's not too light that you're going to snap on a fish but anyway we're going to get into the fun part the reason you clicked on this video we're going to get in the lures so with trout fishing i will use anything from a 50 millimeter to like a 70 80 millimeter lure while fishing most of your lakes and rivers in um tassie obviously if you're fishing rivers, I'll sort of use your lower, your 60s, your 50s. And if you're fishing lakes, I'll go up to that 80 and um, 70 sort of millimeter range. So we'll just right, jump right into um, a couple of smaller 50 mil lures. So when I'm fishing 50 mil lures, I love me, I love me natural colors. Um, golden trout, that, that's brown trout, that's golden trout in Fish and Australia 50 mil minnows. Um, they're, they're perfect for rivers. Like, a lot of the fish you're going to be pulling out of rivers are just, you know, going to be a small pound fish, pound and a half, less than a pound. So you don't really want to be going throwing 
big lures down there, Adam, because, yeah, obviously there's big fish in there, but your shallow rivers, you're more predominantly going to be catching those fish. Um, like, if I'm fishing these in rivers, I'll very often just match it with the current, like, simple as that, like, cast out and just wind it in with the current, like, a couple of twitches and everything, but if you're fishing them in a river, like, you more just want to be focused on following your lure um, with the current, so then you've still got connection with your lure, with your line, it's still nice and tight, compared to if you're going too slack, you can't feel anything, and if you're going too fast, the fish obviously can't catch up, so... That's pretty much how I fish smaller lures in rivers. Um, we'll move up a notch now, and we'll go to sort of your 60 mil sort of lures, like a little bit under 60 mil. Um, here's a look at some there. So that's a 60, 62 in black and gold. That's a 60 black magic, 60 millimeter minnow. Um, and like a silvery gold, like, a lot of times I love fishing light, like gold and silvers, they're usually my go-to, but like there's a little crank of minnow in like a gold, gold and black colour. But um, a lot of these minnows, you know, you're starting to get to the point where you can fish them in lakes. You can fish them in rivers as well, obviously, which I just do sort of the same thing. But like if you're fishing them in lakes, you really want to sort of be fishing them in like shallow shallow rocky areas, weedy areas, that's where you'll find your really shallow 60 millimeter diving lures really good. Um, and like as you're starting to get into lakes, I start to sort of give my lures a bit of a pause. So you don't have that river pushing down on them. So like I'll cast out and I'll really, you know, twitch on them a bit like twitch pause is really a killer way that i get onto a lot of my fish like i'll cast out on top of a rocky edge or onto a weed bat a bank or a weedy flat and i'll just cast out and I'll, you know rip rip give it a couple of quick rips and then i'll just let that little pause you know sometimes it's two seconds sometimes it's five seconds but you'll find out within the day of whether they're gonna be you know really on you'll get them you know, you almost won't have to pause your lure or they'll be really slow. And that's sometimes where you really stop and give them that, you know, four or five second pause that they'll look at it and then jump onto it. But obviously the other way you can fish your 63 millimeter minnows, uh, 60 millimeter minnows sort of thing, is just a cast out and like a slow roll, or a little bit of a faster roll, but it's just key to mix it up. Like you never know what's going to be happening on the day and you will find out that they will be on a certain um, retrieve most of the times, whether it's really fast, or really slow paced. But um, yeah, that's how I sort of fish me really thin, shallow diving 60 millimeter lures. Um, moving on, we're going to go to my range of sort of 63 millimeter minnows so i picked out three of my favorite sort of colors oh how are we gonna go about holding these there we are so there's three colors that i find really good on the trout like if you had these three lures and you would have fish them in pretty much any lake you've got all sort of areas colored like well, I'm dropping them all. Your golden trout, your more natural colours. I've got them hooked into my seat. That's that's great. That's good form for me. <laughs> um, your fire trout's more of your bright colours. Like, you know, on some of your bigger lakes, you'll really find that they... I'm just going to have to... There we are. Um, you'll really find that they will like brighter colours, especially rainbows, um, brown... I found fire trout is a great lure up at Great Lake. Um, and then your ghost gold, more of a silhouette, um, and not silhouette, transparent gold is the word for it. Uh, like when you're fishing dirty water and stuff like that, sometimes just a nice silhouette will give off that nice bit of shadow and stuff like that. That trout will actually come along and jump on it instead of your bright colors sometimes. But yeah, these three lures like, I've obviously a lot of the fishing I do is with 
63 millimeter lures since they're you know sort of my own and i do really you know rate them and i'll catch a lot of fish on them um they're a very versatile lure like although they've got you know like a little bit of a bib on them people think oh you know they're a real deep diving lure but that's not really the case they're a suspending lure so you can cast out and you can like really stick your rod high and they don't sing so you can cast like i'll find a lot of the times i'll cast out into the real shallow bit and you know, they sort of twitch me lure up and then as i sort of start to roll off into the deeper bit i'll start to really work my rod down and these lures will just run down nice deep and you know they'll hit you one 1.5 meters and you'll find a lot of fish running off off that little flat shallow area and if you can't get your lure down you know deep enough to sort of roll off they won't come up and see it if you're fishing like right on the top so like i'm really with these lures i'm slow rolling them a lot of the times like just cast out and just slow roll and they'll they've got a really nice i can't really <laughs> they've got a really nice tail wobble to them since they're very fat at the front and very thin at the back they'll like kick out i'll well not kick out but like their tail really flutters side to side so if you do just slow roll them they've got a great action and that i find catches a lot of fish as well as like i mentioned previously just casting out and just twitching and pausing like a lot of people don't pause it when trout vision like a lot of people just go out trolling and all that but you can't really pause it when you're you know driving the boat and then you got to put it in neutral and then you got to put it back in the drive it's just not worth it but like if you are casting a lure and you've got a nice you know suspending or even floating lure um just next time you fish and give it a crack on a pause you know just stop it every now and then and you will find that a lot of trout will actually jump on that that pause like especially you know in summer and stuff like that the water temperatures get really high and fish will go real shut down and they won't eat anything unless it's really slow which that's where you know a nice suspending lure that you can get sort of down to a meter a meter and a half is really key but um yeah that's a little dive into the 63 fish australia lures a heap of them online at fishaustralia.com if you are looking to get into some um great great early season or all round season lure but yeah that's 63 golden trout if you're gonna buy one that'd be the one to go for like i catch 90 percent oh i'd probably say like 70 percent of my fish on those lures but um moving on to sort of the last batch of lures we're gonna dive into where are we we've got some really sort of larger lures so we've got like what's that i think that borderline might be a 110 we've got like a 70 and we've got an 80 so there's a look there so you got a bit more of a deep diver in that middle one there in that diver double clutch nice real shallow diving one there and then in both of them in black and gold and then you sort of silvery green in an 80 mil um like very rarely will you find that you'll throw you know your sort of real larger lures but if you are fishing lakes a lot you will find that you will almost have the same amount of set, success and maybe that bigger fish or two in the mix if you are fishing you know your real larger style lures but um it's pretty well much just the same thing all around just you know cast out work them work them deep if you're on a deep bank you know cast out really twitch twitch pause twitch twitch pause slow roll them that also works really well and i'll just put them down and then yeah just a real sort of slow roll with a big twitch on it but um yeah so if i was just to quickly sum up and give you three fishing techniques you know you've never done trout fishing before you want to go out and have crack at catching a trout you brought a couple of lures and you're thinking what do i do with them the three i'd offer you first of all plain and simple simple that's a that's a new word for your dictionary slow roll just cast out just literally you just wind it back in 
like that, just slow roll, just making your lure wibble so I, wibble, that's another one for you. I'm, I'm in all sorts today. Um, wobble, side to side, like that'll get yeah, a lot of your fish. And that's what I did for the first couple of years while I was really getting into trout fishing. But as you sort of, you know, you start to get more involved, I'd, you know, give a, like a twitch and a wind a go. So literally you just slow roll. You're doing the exact same thing as a slow roll, just wind it in like that, but you're just jerking, jerking your rod as you, that sounds great. <laughs> jerking your fishing rod as you're um, bringing it back in. You know, just twitch, 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 just non-stop, bring it right back in. And I find that works really well on rocks because your vibrations of your lures will bounce off the rocks and fish will really come out and aggress it because it's just vibrating the hell out of the rocks. It's all they can hear because, you know, you've got little ball bearings and your lures just going bang, 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 vibrating off the rocks. And lastly, twitch, twitch, pause. Like, recently it's really come into play for me, like finding the right time to do twitch twitch pause and you can just absolutely slay fish on twitch twitch pause like when i was up at lake echo a couple of weeks back um we started slow rolling and we didn't really see anything but as soon as we started to pause uh, you know just like wind wind get your lure going give it a couple of whips and then just sit it there for a couple of seconds that's when we really started to pull our fish so give those three a crack you know buy a couple of lures in that 80 to 50 millimeter range you know i've got a heap um at fishingaustralia.com you know tamer marine the fisherman's shed they've got heaps of lures on the wall you know they've got something there to, for you to definitely get onto a fish so grab a couple of lures and go out and give it a crack and use these techniques and yeah that's going to be it i'm going to keep on getting sorted for the weekend so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye